There is no law, and to date, nobody has been able to show that there is a law for the average American citizen working day in and day out to pay an income tax. But we the People Foundation for Constitutional Education put a full-page ad in the USA Today on July 7, 2000. And within the body of that ad was a $50,000 challenge for anyone that could show the law. And to me, $50,000 is a lot of money. So I went after that and did the research based on the fact that I thought, let's put this baby to bed. I'm hearing all these rumors. You know, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'll answer these people's questions that are asking me. And then I'll win this $50,000. And, you know, based on the research that I did throughout the year 2000 and that I'm still doing, I have not found that law. I've asked uh, Congress, we've asked a lot of people in the IRS, IRS commissioners, helpers. They can't answer because if they answer, the American people are going to know that this whole thing is a fraud. There is no law. There is no law that requires the average American worker in the private sector to pay a direct unapportioned tax on their labor and compensation for services. There is no law. I really expected that, of course, there's a law that you can point to in the law book, the code, that requires you to file a tax return. Of course there is. I mean, I don't know what it is right then as, we, as he was speaking to me, but sure. So naively, I agreed to go off and research it and get back to him. Three and a half months later, I was at that point where I couldn't find the statute that clearly made a person liable, uh, at least not me and uh, most people I know, and I had no, no choice in my mind except to, to resign. I had to leave the IRS because I presented uh, evidence that I had accumulated indicating that the agency was violating the law and violating people's rights and I asked the agency for a response to my sincere concerns. And the answer I got was that they would not respond to my concerns and that they would uh, provide me with the paperwork necessary to tender my resignation. You can look through the statutes and look for the law that requires you to pay. And when you do that, you can't identify a law that requires the average person in America who earns a wage and works in private business to pay an income tax. American citizens, along with the foundation, have been asking the IRS to specifically provide them with the, the underlying legal foundation upon which they administer and enforce the personal income tax laws in our country. At the national level, when people would attempt to contact somebody of a much higher authority, say the, cons uh, the commissioner, same kind of thing. Uh, they, wouldn't get, they would get answers that were in effect non-answers. You have to understand that an agency which will unlawfully impose a tax that doesn't exist is not going to care if we the people don't know what our rights are they're not going to tell us if americans just learned that the irs was actually knowingly deceiving them that that enough that would be enough for them to rise up and put a stop to it 100 percent of what is collected is absorbed solely by interest on the federal debt all individual income tax revenues are gone before one nickel is spent on the services taxpayers expect from government. People have been told, you know, that you need this income tax system to fund government, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, my question is, well, if that's true, how did we fund government from 1776 to 1913? The main purpose of the income tax is not to raise revenue, but to redistribute wealth and to control society. And a lot of people uh, might say, well, gee, if there wasn't an income tax, what would happen to education? They don't understand uh, that education is paid for, for the most part, out of state and local taxes, your property tax. People might say, well, how are we going to build and maintain our highways? If there's no money coming into the government, we need our highways. There is a tax on every gallon of gasoline that people buy. Proceeds from the income tax do not pay for highway construction. When I was at the IRS, I thought I was doing my great duty to help the country. It was when I left the IRS. straw that really broke the camel's back concerning my speaking out about the IRS wasn't the IRS. It was the fact that I found out that the Federal Reserve is not federal. It's a non-auditable private banking cartel collecting millions of dollars an hour in interest from the American people. I write these $10,000 checks to the IRS. It's not going to fix the roads because the gas tax pays for that. It's not going towards paying the policemen, the firemen, and teachers because my real estate taxes and car tag taxes pay for that. It's going for the private bank owners, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, all those people's children's children's children 
to never have to work a day in their life. And that just clicked right there. I will not work for somebody else's unborn children to live in luxury while I'm a slave. That's when I also discovered that it's not just black folks that were slaves. Everybody's a slave now. It doesn't matter. So I, I realized that they try to use color and religion and all that stuff against us. And they have us bickering and fighting over all this stuff. And they're looking down at us laughing while they, they close us in, in a corral. And I know you've heard the term sheeple. I don't want to be a sheeple. Right. But all of us are sheeple if we don't do something about it. That's right. Grace Commission report back in 1984, I believe it was, around somewhere in the beginning of it, it says not one nickel of the income tax goes towards running the country. It goes towards servicing the debt, which is the, the, the interest from the Federal Reserve. It goes towards war and all these things that we don't want. So the money doesn't go towards running the country. That's a, that's a lie that's been told. People say, well, what, how are we going to run the country? None of that money goes towards running the country. Do your research. Turn off the TV, do your research. It doesn't. What they did was, I don't want to call it ingenious, but all of those codes and regulations all mixed together, they made penalties for failure to file, but you have to be required to file. Some people are required to file, depending on what kind of income you have, but most people that live and work in the 50 states are not in that. No, so, so who's required to file? Um, foreign corporations, Americans that are living abroad. So for example, we get all this junk from China. China is supposedly paying us a ton of money, like an excise tax for sending all that stuff over here. China got most favored nation status. So all of the tax that all these other countries and, and some of the uh, foreign corporations are supposedly paying has been laid on the middle class. The Federal Reserve is not federal. It's a private banking cartel that collects over $60 million in interest from the American people every day. I mean, look at the debt clock. The debt clock means that this is all the interest that's being collected. And why is that? because our Congress is supposed to be in, in charge of the money. But they abdicated that responsibility to a private banking cartel. Title 27 is the excise tax code and it tells you what kind of tax, who must file, and the calculation of it. Title 26, on the other hand, talks about you have to pay tax on your taxable income. Well, income is never defined in there. And we found that the definition of income is corporate profits. If Walmart makes $100,000 in a day, one Walmart, 100000 What they do is they get to deduct their expenses. They have the rent for the, the building, they have the salaries, they have the electricity and all that. And let's say all that adds up to eighty grand. So they got a hundred grand, they have eighty grand in expenses, which they can expense, and they only pay tax on the corporate profit, which is twenty. So we're paying tax on a hundred percent of our labor, and that is slavery. So we're just basically slaves. The American people are gonna know that this whole thing is a fraud.